Blender has a lot of add-ons that help us speed up the workflow and improve the process of working on different projects. In this video, I will show you three free Blender add-ons that will help us create Minecraft animations a lot easier and a lot faster. At number one, we have the dynamic parent add-on. So if you want to parent an object to a character in Blender, then you can select an object, select the character bone, click on Control P and parent. But what if you want your character to pick something up and then release it after a few moments? Well, there are multiple ways to do so, but an easier method to do this is using the dynamic parent add-on. So if you want to get it, click the link in the description, download it, and then go to edit, preferences, add-ons, click on install, and then install the dynamic parent add-on from the folder in which you saved it in. Be sure to keep it as a zip version before you install it into Blender. Now go to edit and then disable lock object mode. Also in your timeline, go to frame zero. So the way dynamic parent works is, if I want to parent an object to my character, I can select my character's bone, then shift select the object. And now once we have selected our character's arm and the object, we can click on N to bring out the side panel. And now we can see the dynamic parent add-on here. If you click on the dynamic parent add-on, and then click on create, this will create two new keyframes at the timeline, which means that on the right frame, the object is parented to the character, and on the left frame, there is no parenting between the character and an object. Now, if I go forward a few frames and I want my character to release an object, then I can simply select the object, then go to dynamic parent add-on again, and then click on disable. Now, if I move my character, the object will not follow it, and it will be unparented. This is great for scenes where you want your character to pick up or release something on certain frames. Number two on our list is the Node Wrangler add-on. This add-on comes pre-installed in Blender and you can activate it by going to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and searching for Node Wrangler add-on. Be sure to activate it and save the preferences. Now, what does Node Wrangler do? Well, it helps us create and view nodes a lot quicker in certain situations. For example, if you import an HDR sky and you want to customize it, you can go to the shader editor, switch to the world and then click on the image texture node. And if you have the node wrangler enabled, then you can click on Control T and it will create these new nodes which are mapping and texture coordinates. Now you can create them one by one and connect them separately, but why do that when you can just click on Control T and save a few seconds? Yes, saving a few seconds is good because time is money. Apart from that, if you want to import PBR materials, for example, which contain the image texture, roughness and normal map, then instead of setting them up one by one, you can just create a new texture and then select the principal BSDF node by left clicking, then click on Control shift t and then go to your folder where you have saved all your textures. Now select them all and then click here and then ta-da, you have imported the ready PBR materials in Blender without having to set them up one by one. That's pretty cool. At number three, we have the MC prep add-on. The MC prep add-on is amazing and it makes the process of importing worlds, characters and objects really easy in Blender. The add-on belongs to the Duck Cow and be sure to check out their channel linked in the description to learn more about MC prep. So if I import my OBJ world inside Blender, then instead of manually setting up all textures for every block, I can simply select my whole world, go to the sidebar, find the MC prep add-on and then click on prep materials. And this will give me the proper materials for my world and basically make it look like the Minecraft game. Apart from that, you can use the spawner down here to import different blocks, objects, entities, and even character rigs. It's really amazing, and if you want to learn more about it, you can check out the Duck Cows channel linked in the description. So these are three of my favorite free Blender add-ons. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite add-ons. If you want to support the channel and get cool rewards, then be sure to check out my Patreon page linked in the description. Feel free to give this video a like if you liked it. Also, if you want to learn how to create the wind effect in Blender to give your scene some life, then be sure to check out this video right here and I will see you there.